Hi everyone, welcome again to another episode of Owanbe Wednesday. My name is Dami Alabi, aka the Owanbe Queen. On the Owanbe Wednesday, I share with you tips and tricks on how to plan, how to host, how to slay at your next Owanbe event. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, you want to do that if you're interested in the Owanbe space. Today's video, we are going to be talking... Hmm, about planning a bridal shower by the way guys if you love my scarf which is the Aousa inspired scarf the next video is going to be a tutorial so you don't want to miss out on that so let's come back to the main talk which is bridal shower over the years i have attended quite a number of bridal showers some i've had to turn down some are giving money but i intentionally did not go not because i don't love my friend that is getting married but you know i'd rather not be in the space of drama i have a vlog on bridal shower and if you know what we went i have a vlog i have several vlogs where i went to bridal shower and if you know what we went through planning these bridal showers oh my goodness we're going to do a separate video maybe i'm going to ask ladies I think that's a good one. I'm going to ask ladies what their bridal shower planning process is like because trust me, everybody has a story to tell. So today we are going to be talking about how to plan a bridal shower. Of course, you're not watching this video to plan your own bridal shower. You're watching it to plan somebody else's bridal shower. So I'm going to talk about how to plan your friend's bridal shower. Okay. <laughs> Oftentimes for bridal showers, there's always that one person that knows the bride more than every other person. Well, they may not necessarily know the bride more, but they are like closer to the bride. So this is the person, I'm speaking from the Nigerian point of view that me have seen. There's always that person that is like really close to the bride. And then they're the ones that come up with the idea, you know, we're less surprised being paid less surprise to do less surprise thing, okay? If you are that person, the first thing I want to tell you is that it's not a fight. It's just that you need to calm down. I don't know if you guys have experienced this, but a lot of the bridal showers that I've been a party to or that I've been a part of, that person, they always want to carry everything on their head. Like, as much as you love the bride, I'm sure we all love the bride as well. So but the first thing you want to do is determine the bride's friends and um, the people she would like to be at her bridal shower. You know, oftentimes bridal shower is a surprise. So in a situation whereby you don't know all the bride's friends, you can just use scope and say, ah, why are you actually big girls? You know, who are your bridesmaids? Just kind of enter her mind a little bit to know who she would like to have as a bridal shower. So we're talking about guests. Because the last thing you want to do is go and bring her childhood friend that they probably had issues with. The old, the old place is going to scatter. Maybe somebody that took her boyfriend when they were in university, but luckily for her, she's not marrying the person again. You know, you don't want to be that kind of person or someone she has like some kind of drama or backstory at her bridal shower. You scope to ask, you know, who are your bridesmaids? So that kind of thing. Then maybe when it speaks like a bridesmaid, ask the bridesmaid, okay, who are the other people that you think that Tino Care would like to have at a bridal shower. Now, there's a common thing that we do in Nigeria, which is of course due to um, time and space and everything, we like to create a WhatsApp group. So once you have these people, of course, the next thing you want to go ahead and do is create a WhatsApp group if that is what works for you. Oftentimes, I find that WhatsApp group is always very easy to communicate, even though there are different types of people in whatsapp groups i do not understand what you are doing there if you don't want to talk but we'll come to that so create a whatsapp group this is very i feel like it's the most efficient way to plan your bridal your friends not your bridal shower to plan your friends bridal shower and um, you know you guys can have conversations on the gift the cost and all of that so whatsapp group very essential or if you use telegram I don't know. Now, once you have your group, let's go into some of the things that you would like to talk about. So, as in, this is like a checklist. By the way, I have a checklist. Just check the description box down below. It's totally downloadable. You can share with your friends so you guys can like check some of the things out. Some of the things I won't mention in this video will be on that checklist. It's a complete checklist. Now, once you have that, let's start talking on some of the things you need to plan a successful bridal shower. Now, you need to first understand that all fingers are not equal. So, don't come up. This is one issue I usually have with the groups I'm in or the groups I've been in in the past coming up with the bridal shower budget do you get often times people just come and want to impose their ideas on you so if you're like the group leader in this situation you need to put into consideration that you know people's pockets are not the same have an open conversation this is one thing that I would like to say when you have your group have an open conversation let people chip in their ideas you know what do you think I think the bride is someone that likes to go to the beach so maybe we should have a beach bridal shower I think she likes to swim maybe we should have a swimming pool party you know I think she would like the club let's go to the club or I think you know we should do it at her house she likes to have her family members as, as guests at her bridal shower I think we should do that there discuss budget budget is very very key another reason why budget 
is very key is that say for instance you're about 10 friends and you know you guys have come up you guys have come together and you've drawn a budget of say 150,000 naira. among the 10 of you you need to share the money so if people now tell you that say you know there's 15 of you and you have 150,000 naira that means each person will pay 10k if people tell you that they can't pay 10k then you know that you have to go and review your budget having a budget is very essential for somebody like me i've been in groups where they just came and said you know what everybody paid 10k for this person's brother so i was like mm -mm -mm -mm. but very soon so we're we'll going to break it down what is going on mm -mm -mm. You cannot just tell me to drop 10k give me a budget i find it that when people don't when you don't have when you're not very open and when you don't bring your budget to the group people feel like you are cheating them but oftentimes they don't talk me i'm the person that will talk i'm sorry now the next thing you want to decide on is the date this one can be very tricky when the bride picks her day she just tells you this is my date but for the bridal shower everybody has to agree on a certain date so you may be saying saturday i may be saying you know saturday is busy for me like me my saturday is busy like if i'm not attending party i'm photographing at a party so saturday is not usually my free time say probably sunday and somebody is saying oh sunday in my church we usually have program till like 6 p.m i can't attend and then if you're having it by six i need to go to church so you need to open it up have an open conversation on your group or if you are sending mails if you're calling people let everybody come in and say okay you know what this date works for me you don't just pick a date and throw it at well you can throw it at people and they'll suggest but at least have like two three dates so you want to pick a bridal shower date and make sure that everybody is agreeing or maybe not everybody at least to a certain extent say 80 percent of people if not group whisker group is got now when planning a bridal shower it's very essential i find I, I feel like this is very important it's very important that you take a family member if she has sisters you take her sister along on this journey so the sister can help you find out some more things like oh what theme would she like without it being too much or her mom like ah mommy we're planning this bridal shower for sharon and would like to know what you think we're not saying that tell the mommy to come and take over no just her uh, input on it and she'll be able to tell you you know my daughter likes this my daughter doesn't like that i think that this is a you know she'll be able to give you in she'll be able to even book the day ahead i found i, I remember I, I saw a video where a lady was being proposed to and it was a mom that was used to just deceive her mommy just told her you know what this saturday we are busy we are going for a party go and get your nails done go and get your hair done and you know now we listen to our mothers all the time so she did all that and she didn't know it was a proposal so that kind of thing can happen when you either work with the husband to be the groom you work with the sister or you can work with the mom you can confirm that her schedule is clear for that day so you don't just plan bridal right shower and maybe she's going to be in a quadra doing something and you point me you waiting for that now this one i find that people usually miss out on well not miss out on it's just that when people are finished spending money finish you don't see it as cocoa and that is the bridal shower gift i'm going to have a video really soon or a blog post i'm not going to i'm not i'm not guaranteed it's going to be a video probably a blog post on um, bridal shower gift ideas i think it is very important for all the friends to come together to buy the bride a gift don't spend all the money on small shops and food give the bride a gift so bridal shower gift so people like to give house utensils or kitchen utensils rather house appliances from say tv to cooker to iron all those things like that oh you can just cook cook give her a cow as pack you know you buy a 30 billion gang and your sister madam click <laughs> tlc tamara no is it the ladies club now another thing i want to mention is doing things yourself oftentimes when you gather people together to throw a bridal shower you know you have like 10 friends not all 10 will pay 10k and if you're lucky all of them will pay but oftentimes not all of them pay the money and then some people this one don't do it if you're that friend stop doing it stop bringing uninvited guests to people's bridal shower like, i feel like it depends understand the bride you're also planning something for if she likes you know small things keep it small keep it small but speaking of to save yourself money there are a lot of things you can do yourself you can look up tutorials on you know maybe like balloon decorations or tabletop decorations you know things like that that will save you money instead of having to get like an event planner to come and design everywhere save yourself some money but now another one is picking a theme this should have come first nigerian bridal showers 
we need to stop wearing white shirts and blue jeans let's leave that in 2019 let's be creative ankara theme the hospital theme if she's a doctor i don't know princess theme if she likes princesses and she's a disney princess even though she's a grown-up woman pick a theme i think themes make it more interesting you know like oh i went to the bridal shower and it was just like ah you know so let's start picking themes you can look up themes online inspiration colors um i don't know whose bridal shower i saw that was ankara theme that was really really cute it was cute not everybody wore white shirt and blue jeans like I mean, i'm tired of that also speaking of you know picking a theme and picking a dressing there was a bridal shower that was a part of and um, the class captain as the friend of the bride that organized the whatsapp group she said maybe we should wear white shirt and bomb shorts and some of us say that we know used to wear bomb shorts in our family and the lady literally changed the force i think that when you have a bridal shower group when you are planning towards one person's bridal shower i think you should be very open to other people as well because some of us you know were very i say some of us because i was part of people that were like i can't wear bomb short because some of us are very um conservative in our dressing we don't wear shorts or show our boobs like some of the ideas they were bringing was like there was one that was like lingerie when it was when people were trained dress ideas almost like you know you should wear lingerie i can't wear lingerie i be lingerie i'm sorry but like oh no it's just us it's just us but there's going to be a picture and that picture you will post it you want them to bring kokoyama at my wedding no so don't let them bring kokoyam i can't wear you know lingerie then she's like you know what let's just wear bomb shorts and tank top kilo day by can't we wear normal clothes i think that when you're planning like when you're like the lead of the group you should be very open to people's ideas i know at that point some people dropped out saying that you know if this is what we're going to wear if there's no other option then i love my friend but i'm not going to you know throw my belief in the dustbin just because and um group scatter i paid but i ended up not going is what do you want to do for the day what are the games you want to play you know what are some of the things you want to do what kind of music do you want to play and all of that just draw out a i did this for one of my friends wedding if i still have it i'll probably look for it and keep it as a downloadable on my blog so like um kill the menu yeah like the menu you know welcoming of guests national and then opening prayer <laughs> Samo, I'm just joking, but you guys get the drift. How do you want to break it down? Item seven, small shops, games, and all of that. So break it down, break it down to the down down. How do you want the bridal shower to go? What time are we starting? 4 p.m. We are 4 p.m. Really. What time are we closing? 7 p.m. Between 4 and 5. What are we doing? Between 5 and 6. What are we doing? Have that so that you don't get to the bridal shower and everybody's just looking like bolo. Also, let there be like an like an MC consider just talk to one of the friends of the bride like okay you know what you are funny you are witty i think you should be the mc you should take charge and this is the program this program i wanted to say since when i'll be saying menu i think we yeah, are hungry and you know say this is the program and take over the program so thank you so much for watching this video if you found it helpful in any way hit that like button check in the description box for the checklist on how to plan a bridal shower is a free downloadable you don't want to miss out on that so you can download this and share with your friends in your whatsapp group when you create one next week we'll be talking about the games you can play at bridal showers because it's always very boring when you get to the bridal shower and everybody's looking like me we are which game are we going to play you get me so we don't want to be that person that at the bridal shower there's no idea and the bride is looking at you like you like you could not plan this thing properly so next week come for that video which is oh and bear wednesday if you've not seen my video on how to pick how to sell how to distribute all of that ashwebi gist check the description box down below the first three episodes of oh and bear wednesday is down there you don't want to miss out on that and i think wait, that is everything Thank you so much for watching. My name is Dami Alabi and it was fun hanging out with you. Do not forget to check me out online at Dami's Diary across all platforms. And I'll be waiting for you. Also check out my blog, theowanbeckqueen.com for more content about planning, organizing, hosting, slaying at an Owanbeck.